Trish from Alamo Post Office. How long have you been working this mailbox? Ten years. Uh -huh. Yeah. Everybody. I've seen all people from all around the world. Germany. Germany. Asia, Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. every, you know, from everywhere. So. Hey, I think you got some more coming here. Yeah. Some of the most funniest, amazing stories. People have told me I should write a book. Yeah. You know, I don't know why. And I'm like, I've actually, people have stuff, tried to stuff uh, letters in there. And oh, they think this is going to go to Area 51. They can reach them. That, yeah, and that's why the lower <laughs> box is the alien box if you want to send aliens letters. Oh, is that added? <laughs> yeah, that was added. It was actually, Did, who, people have broken into this and actually pushed over, destroyed this mailbox. So you can see Steve Medlin right here. So but everybody every... has to leave their mark. See, yeah. Steve Medlin. That's his mailbox. That's his mm -hmm. mailbox. This is their ranch then. Yeah, they all live... that you see. Do they have a house out here somewhere? Well, right there is the building. So they right look there? like they're like five miles away or ten yeah. miles. Yeah. And anytime they go up to the mountains to gather cattle, they have to report in whose vehicles. Oh, yeah, because they would be on Air Force property. Mm -hmm. so they have they the don't same. have too many tourists coming out to their branch. They do it all the time. Coming out to Yep. Their... Going out to their property, go beyond the... He had to build this. He had to weld all this in because they were actually... And they're still trying. And so, they're still trying. So this one down here that says U-U-F-O-H. Yeah, who, that's the who, alien. Who owns that? Is that's that... Jim Medlin's. Oh, he, he just, just added it for he fun. He added it for the aliens. Yeah. So how, how often do you do mail delivery? Mail delivery is six days a week, like normal. Uh -huh. You know. And I'm a part-time employee, so... But yeah, we gotta be real careful. People, you know, yeah. still breaking in. I mean, the tourism used to be good. Oh yeah. For the past number of years, it's they're hurting. Yeah. The 80s and 90s is when it was good to visit and everything. But yeah. You, know, you need another incident. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we don't need any more of the crazies out here. <laughs> People say that the dust devils that you see out here are portals to the mothership and. Like, really? You've had no UFO experiences. Nope. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. I've lived here, what, 18 years now? 18. Okay. My husband was born and raised here. And he's yeah. never seen anything nope. either. Okay. <laughs> we, we have, you know, all the planes and stuff that yeah. fly out in the desert and do their maneuvers and, and practicing. This is from Nellis. Huh? This is from the Air Force Base. Yeah. yeah. It's just the Air Force needs a place yeah. to yeah. practice. They dropped A bombs once. Yeah. All around here. Actually, this entire valley. Is still radioactive. To monitor uh -huh. all this, you know, all from the fifties. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's why coming through here, I'm not too concerned because I'm not here all the time. Yeah. I feel like I'm a representative of the mailbox now. Well, somebody, you know, should have told this story a long time ago. Exactly. <laughs> it's to my list of. So I'm a poet. Oh. A website with poetry. Okay. So come take a look. Nice Here's meeting you. Have a great day. Have a great day. Thank you. Good luck with the post office. We love them too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. This is gold. <laughs>